surprised that I won Best in Show. Um, I didn't realize there was a first place and a Best in Show, so when they said first place, I just thought they forgot my name. But um, yeah, I'm completely excited, and I mean, it's just, it feels really good. It feels like your artwork has been validated by someone else. With my artwork, I really try to experiment with colors and patterns and how layering those two things creates visual interest. And um, I'm really interested in portraiture, so I try and combine those two things in most of what I do. Working with the pattern that's in the dress and really paying attention to that detail, and then um, sort of creating that faux wood uh, texture in the background by layering the brown with the uh, turquoise lines over top. The majority of my work is in acrylic. I do some with oil paint, but uh, acrylic's my preferred medium. I actually have a really um, unique working process. I just sat down and did this in about five hours. So I just sat down and did it all at once. <laughs> it's, it's like, uh, once I get started, I'm just laser beam focused on what I'm doing, so. I'm actually more interested in art history and looking at art critically, so I think I'm going to pursue something uh, in the curating field or maybe even being a director of a museum, something like that. It's pretty diverse. I work in different types of medias. Um, I'm recently in printmaking and also drawing. I do painting. Um, I'm constantly working in different medias and trying to grow and develop as much as I possibly can. The work of art that I have in this um, exhibit is mixed media. It involves color pencil and a bit of watercolor. My inspiration for this piece, um, I just, it, came from my imagination. I created um, a combination of a goat, an aardvark, and a bird. And I just put it in an imaginary habitat. I do like nature and I like to involve nature in my piece. I plan to, in the future, go to an arts college. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do, but I know it's gonna be somewhere in that field, in visual arts. a lot of deep, very deep rooted in biology. I do plan to, in the future, pursue a career in biology, possibly marine biology. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, and this piece, this particular piece is named Eucalyptus, and I made it, out, it's mixed media, made it out of, uh, you know, bendable wood and um, rice paper. This is an abstraction of uh, nature plants, eucalyptus plant mostly. Um, it doesn't really much look like a eucalyptus plant, but it does look like a plant. It's a very abstract a plant, um, you know, broken down to lines, a lot of line, repetition of line, um, simple planes, using the rice paper. I used, I focus a lot on different kinds of symmetry. Uh, there is some radial symmetry with the um, degrading uh, pieces of wood uh, circulating around to form radial symmetry, and um, I tried very hard to balance the line of my uh, trees, uh, stalks, I guess. Um, and so it's, you know, very radial, but not, not too much. The, you know, concept for the piece was to create planes, which I did using the um, wood and the rice paper, and it very, very much resembles a plant. And I really like the name eucalyptus, so it stuck. I don't like to um, give myself too much boundaries, because I feel it limits my work. But I also don't like to, you know, go crazy, because, you know, I'm very diverse in mediums, uh, mostly three-dimensional. I do do a lot of ceramics. I do uh, two-dimensional, uh, do a lot of collage, mixed media mostly. Um, I have done metal before and printmaking as well. I, I consider myself very much a three-dimensional artist. I do, I do enjoy working in 3D, but I do find, and two-dimensionals, but I, and two dimensions, but I do find that working in 3D is much easier for me. Plans for the future, I do want a minor in art, possibly a major. Um, but I do want to become a biologist and work as a studio artist in my spare time.